All right, I found my graph. Um, so it starts here. I really, I don't need, yeah, I don't need P to be less than zero. That doesn't make any sense. So I can put that, that constraint on it. Um, and then from here, I can see, um, okay, so let's do the other ones. So bank B, I'm just gonna call that B of T equals 12.23 times one plus 0 0.781 raised to the T um, where T is greater than or equal to zero. Bank C and it's four point four five, so zero. Oh, maybe. Oh, Yeah, so you can see my my graph was, you know, pretty accurate. Um, bank B is the most, like, rises the fastest. Uh, a is in the middle and C rises the slowest. Um, what are the other questions? The other questions are, no. Um, based on the graph, how much would the student owe for each loan when they graduate from college in four years? All right, so let's go to four years. Um, so four years, one, two, three, that's five. So four years is going to be, uh, bank C is going to be $14,310 and 22 cents. How do I just get a point there? I don't know how to. Okay, I gotta write this down. One four three one zero. And bank two or bank A, I guess. Fifteen thousand seven dollars and thirty one cents. And bank A. Sixteen two one one point two nine. Okay. So let's go back to this. So based on my graph, how much would each student owe for each loan? So bank A, they would owe sixteen thousand two hundred eleven dollars and twenty nine cents. Bank B, they would owe $15,007.31. And bank C, they would owe 14000 oops, $14,310.31. Let's move this over here and maybe make it
or readable. Okay. And then based on the graph, if no payments are made, how much would the student owe for each loan after 10 years? Let's go back to our graph. Need to know 10 years. Um, 10 years is going to be up here a little bit more. So 10 years for bank C is going to be $18,635.63. So Eighteen six three five six three, and let's see, Bank B twenty thousand nine hundred eighty eight dollars and sixty seven cents, so two zero nine eight eight six seven. That's a lot of money. Um, and this last one. $25,454.92. So 2545492. Uh oh, I lost it. I lost that on my brain. Two five four five four nine two. No decimals in there. Okay. So if we go back here, um, A was twenty dollars. Twenty five dollars. Twenty five thousand four hundred fifty four dollars and. 92 cents. Bank B was 20,000. Can't really read my handwriting. 988, maybe $958.67. Um, I don't really want to argue about $30 at this point. And then bank C. $635.63. And let's make that easy to read. Okay. Uh, sorry about the two part video. Um, I hope you found that helpful. And okay, great.